Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Week 10 of High School Football Final, sponsored by Mizzick Miller & Company, the Primal Insurance Group, and WBCO, WQEO Radio, and CrawfordCountyNow.com. It's hard to believe we're through one football season already, and we hope you've had as much fun as we have. To my right, it's Roger Miller of Mizzick Miller & Company. To my left, Eric Triano of the Sunshine Insurance Agency in Upper Sandusky, Prospect, in Cardington. To my far left is Lee Plymel of the Plymel Insurance Group. And I'm Gary Ogle of WBCO, WQEL Radio, in CrawfordCountyNow.com. So without further ado, we're going to let Lee start us off this week. Thanks, Gary. I had the first pick this week, as, and I picked Crestline's J.C. Clark. He had 130 yards in rushing, 7.2 yards in a carry, with three big touchdowns and four solo tackles on on defense and one interception. Nice going. My pick is Upper Sandusky senior lineman Colin Brown. Colin had an early season injury. He's come back and played real tough defense the last two games. In Upper's 29 to 23 loss against Western Reserve, Colin had 11 tackles, six solo, 5.5 of those were tackles for loss and he had two sacks. So great job Colin. My first helmet sticker this week goes to Colonel Crawford's quarterback, Will Kirkpatrick. And a big 48-14 win for the Eagles. Will was 9 of 13 passing for 192 yards. He had 12 rushes for 218 yards and accounted for five touchdowns, three rushing and two passing, as well as 410 total yards on the night. Congratulations, Will. My helmet sticker goes out to Seneca East. Braden Walker. Braden had three receptions for 135 yards. He also had a punt return for 40 yards and he accounted for two touchdowns. Uh, on defense, he had two tackles and one of them being a sack. And it was a big win for the Seneca East Tigers, a 56 0 win over the Ridgedale. It put them in the, the playoffs. And it happens to be the ninth different Seneca East player to have a helmet sticker award this year. Congratulations, Braden. My second pick this week goes to Galleon's Drake Barnett, um, running back linebacker for the Galleon Tigers. Um, had a big game. He had one reception for 19 yards, 20 carries for 164, um, two kickoff returns for 23 yards, four touchdowns off on offense. Defense, he had six tackles, three solos, one tackle behind the line of scrimmage and two fumble recoveries and a big win to go over Marion Pleasant and they're off to the playoffs as well. My next helmet sticker goes to Mohawk's Trevor Zender. Mohawk Trevor Zender had 294 yards on 29 carries and two touchdowns. Um, a big shout out has to go to the offensive line as Mohawk rushed for 476 yards in this game um, and a big win against Buckeye Central. So congratulations Trevor. My final helmet sticker of tonight and for the season goes to Carey's Abel LaRoche. The running back and defensive back had three receptions for 86 yards, three rushes for eight yards, and he scored both of Carey's touchdowns in a 48-14 loss to Colonel Crawford. Defensively, Abel had six tackles. Three of those were solos. He punted the ball for a, three times for a total of 119 yards, and he had four kickoff returns to boot for 50 yards. Congratulations, Abel LaRoche. Remember, players, you can pick up your T-shirts at the Mizzick Miller Company in Upper and Bucyrus with your helmet sticker and your gift card to Subway. we just like to thank everybody uh, for, for tuning in to us each week. It's uh, like Gary said, we had a lot of fun with this, and we, we hope you guys did. We had uh, a lot of good comments. Um, we want to thank the coaches for uh, their cooperation, their support during the year, and the athletic directors. Uh, next year we're going to come back uh, bigger and better. Uh, and we think we're even going to throw uh, maybe some, uh, uh, do this for another sport, maybe a girls sport in the next fall too. So uh, from all of us, thank you very much and uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you.